Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 23rd, 2020. I have mixed news for you. Some, some's good, some's alright, some's eh, you know, that's how it usually is when it comes with Congress. So to start off with, we have Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin testified before Congress and said the Trump administration wants more stimulus checks. So basically, Donald Trump wants more stimulus checks from the Congress to come out to the people. And the Democrats in the House of, Represent in the House of Representatives confirm that their commitment to send Americans more stimulus checks. So basically, we got the Trump administration, Steve Mnuchin, and Democrats that all want to send out more stimulus checks. Let's find out what else is going on, shall we? The Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, also testified in front of Congress and said the economy needs an additional stimulus package to keep the economy aloft. In retaliation against the Republicans, we're going to talk about Steve Mnuchin now. No, not Steve Mnuchin, uh, Chuck Schumer, sorry. Uh, he basically has a... Since the Republicans are trying to put uh, someone in the Supreme Court justice chair as fast as possible. Well, Chuck Schumer, basically uh, the, the Democratic lead of the Senate. Since, well, okay, he's the majority lead of the Senate, shall I say. Um, he invoked the two-hour rule in the Senate. That means after two hours of working per day, they must stop. But there's more. Stick around and I'll tell you exactly what that more is. The politicians have agreed upon the government funding bill. The House passes bill 359 to 57 and now it moves on to the Senate where they'll vote on it. And COVID-19 cases are still on the rise in the United States even says it started in September 8th. So basically September 8th of this month up to current date on the rise okay then let me explain the whole um two hour rule with the two hour rule in effect the senate committee is not allowed to meet in the senate meet if the senate has been in session for more than two hours or after 2 p.m so i'm, I'm trying to figure this one out it's, it's, it's a uh, two hour rule is what it says on it. it doesn't say 2 p.m rule it says two hour rule so basically, they're saying that they, since he invoked this just to piss off the Republicans so they couldn't put someone in the Supreme Court chair because he wants the next president to do it, he invoked the two-hour rule, which only allows them to work two hours a day and, and have no meetings if they do work more than two hours a day or no meetings after 2 p.m. That's really going to help out the stimulus package, don't you think? And then <clears throat> Powell said to the Senate, as he testified, that without a second stimulus check and additional stimulus packages, that the economy will suffer. It will suffer with evictions and foreclosures in things that will s scar and damage the economy. So basically, uh, Jerome Powell said to the Congress committee that Basically, look, if we don't get more stimulus checks to the people and more stimulus packages out there, that our economy is going to be so, so, so severely damaged and scarred that it's going to be that way for quite a while. So I think he's trying to scare the uh, Congress Congressional Committee, committee sorry, into voting. Although the Congressional Committee, I think, was only a member of maybe six or eight of the people from Congress. And they've all basically enforced him and told him to voice his opinion to the Senate that this is what Donald Trump wants. He wants more stimulus checks for the people and he needs more stimulus packages for the economy so it will actually start to thrive. We'll see if that happens as well. And the second wave of COVID, the second wave of COVID-19 is occurring right now in Europe. And what basically means Europe, which I think he said Spain, France, Italy, and most of Europe right now is getting a second wave of COVID-19. So their numbers are rising fast. And in, in the United States, <clears throat> we are, we've have already hit the benchmark of over 200,000 deaths because of COVID-19. 
and I actually don't want to say about that because I, I, I don't want to get that crap. That stuff would scare the hell out of me. And I don't think anyone else wants to get it either. In fact, I would not even wish that on my worst enemy. That's just not right. So, uh, for all my viewers and all my subscribers and anyone else who watches this video, please stay safe out there. Wear a mask. Don't listen to those anti-masker morons out there that say, don't wear a mask, you'll be fine. Pay attention to what's going on in the world. The world shows you that COVID-19 kills. It infects you, and, then it, and you might survive, but most likely it's going to kill you. Depending on your demographic, your age demographic, your gender demographic, and other st stuff along those lines as well. You have to actually look that up. Um, but, come on, COVID, I'm in that age demographic. I'm almost 50 years old. And I'm basically in the age demographic. So, COVID-19 is not my friend. I wear a mask wherever I go. Well, okay, except for at work. I don't wear a mask there because I do work. A minimum of 12 feet or more away from my next co-worker and I work with myself so that's a plus <coughs> and if my voice sounds raspy it's not because I have COVID-19 it's because I am a smoker I have smokers cough too that's how I know I don't have COVID plus yeah my, ha my head's always been cold to the touch I haven't had no heat coming off it so I do check myself and I would suggest you guys do the same please check yourself to make sure that you don't have a fever because that's one of the main factors of COVID-19 is running a fever before it starts to get worse and gives you SARS you know serious, uh, serious acute respiratory syndrome because that's basically what COVID-19 really is is SARS just a more stronger version of it I did look up to the about the what strain of uh, COVID-19 is and Oh my gosh, there's so many different strains of, uh, of uh, coronavirus out there. COVID-19 is just one strain of it. Holy crap. But if you want to find out about that, I suggest you look it up as well. I mean, I I guess I could try to find out the link for you and put it in my next video. That will probably help you guys out as well. Like I said, please, before I keep rambling on and, and boring the hell out of you guys, please stay safe out there. Always wear a mask when in public places and practice social distancing. So... We can all survive this together. And that's the important thing is we all survive this together. But until then, you guys have a magnificent Wednesday and an excellent night. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye.